Hi, I'm David Coley, and I want to talk to you a little bit about my section of English 105, Introduction to Issues in Literature and Culture. Consider the following. In 1968, a novelist named Kurt Vonnegut publishes a novel about the firebombing of Dresden in which he interrupts his own narrative to declare, that was I, that was me, that was the writer of this book. In 1965, a rock musician by the name of Bob Dylan responds to a reporter asking whether he considers himself a poet or a songwriter with the quip, I think of myself more as a song and dance man. In 1398, a poet named Geoffrey Chaucer begins work on a poem in which a character named Geoffrey Chaucer reports the tales of a group of pilgrims on their way to Canterbury. And in 1798, a poet named William Wordsworth looks out over a lonesome mountain in the Lake District of England and muses in his own verse that someday that mountain will be named after him. Despite the centuries and genres separating them, Vonnegut, Dylan, Chaucer, and Wordsworth all remind us that the relationship between the author and the poetic eye is a really slippery one. It's a relationship that's always negotiated uh, in some way by the author and by the reader, by the writer uh, and by the reader. Uh, in English 105, uh, we will engage with an eclectic mix of poetry, of prose, and music uh, to consider the means by which writers position themselves vis-a-vis uh, -vis their work, how they assert and how they remove themselves from that work, their authorial presence. Um, we'll also focus on the expectations that we bring to the table when we read or when we listen to music. What do we expect of our poets, our novelists, our dramatists, our pop musicians, and how do those expectations define the terms in which we apprehend literary texts? What do we really mean when we say, I'm reading Chaucer? What do we mean when we say, I'm listening to Dylan? I mean, aren't we reading the Canterbury Tales? Aren't we listening to Like a Rolling Stone? I think we take the author for granted now in this day and age when everybody has or has access to his own or her own blog post or uh, his own, her own YouTube video. In this class, we will try to work through what authorship is uh, and what it means to create uh, and to consume literary works and other works of art.